hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing good i'm so excited about today's video because it's a primark haul and i had not been to primark in months and months and months obviously it had been shut for about three and a half months um but i don't think i'd even been this year yet so i had a lot of shopping to catch up on and i certainly did that so let's get into it the first thing i picked up was this really really cute bodysuit I mean I have hundreds of bodysuits and I've bought quite a few more but I just feel like you can never have too many bodysuits. I just prefer wearing a bodysuit than an actual kind of like top. Um, but I loved the spaghetti straps on these and it's like a high neck. The material's really like thick and ribbed Um, it just kind of feels like it's going to be like really secure and just feel, just fit really nice if that makes sense. Again with the spaghetti straps I picked up this kind of crop top it's not overly cropped but it's a little bit cropped if that makes sense and again I just love the straps this material isn't ribbed but it's just like a really thick kind of stretchy material it just feels really high quality if you know what I mean I don't know if it's just me but I just feel at the moment that Primark have really stepped up the kind of quality game Um yeah I was really impressed with it when I went another bodysuit I love this kind of rusty orange colour it just reminds me of summer um, I think prior to lockdown, I think it was towards the end of last year I went in Primark and I got like a mustardy colour one of this. So I do already know that I love the fit and I love the kind of V front. Just really cute. Then I picked up, now I don't really wear very much um, white, but I kind of am wanting to go in that direction. I've become obsessed with Ellie Darby during lockdown, watching her video. She wears white a lot, so I was like, I need to channel my inner... Ellie Darby vibes. So I saw this and I just thought, perfect. Little high neck bodysuit and the material is like so soft. I wish you could feel it. It's so soft. It's kind of like, it's not thick, thick, but it's not thin. I do think it's gonna be like kind of okay with the whole see-through game because obviously it's white. Um, but I just love the style and I love the material. So for that reason, I picked up the black one as well. I just don't think you can ever have enough black bodysuits that's exactly the same gorgeous material again and then they also had a green one and I was like well I can't get the black and white and leave the green one there can I and I just love that colour I think this colour I am kind of swaying towards at the moment I'm really loving greens I don't know why um actually this jumper as well I don't know how well you can see um this is also from Primark I think this was like a fiver I just wanted a comfy jumper to feel you know nice in next up is my actual favorite thing that i bought i mean how cute is that with a little bell as well i don't know if you can see um i love the little kind of crocodile buttons not crocodile buttons what are they called tortoiseshell buttons where did crocodile come from no idea um but yeah this was 10 pound they had one that was a little bit more expensive with the sleeves which i also really liked however i just thought if it is like a really summer summer hot day, I'm probably not going to want the sleeves. And I mean, I feel like that's perfect for like a cute little barbecue, going on like a, you know, a lockdown walk, since that's what we do nowadays. Next up, I have got some swimsuits, which I'm going to be using as bodysuits. So this first one is again, Ellie Darby vibes, and she actually did a Primark haul, and I think it was this one that she bought. This swimsuit of asymmetrical straps. I just think it's so cute. I love kind of the creamy colour. I'm just really excited to wear this. Um, again, because it's a swimsuit, it's like kind of got like supported padding in there, so you wouldn't need to wear a bra or anything. Because obviously the straps, well, I mean, obviously it's meant to be a swimsuit, so you wouldn't anyway. But yeah, love that. Then I got, now this is a little bit out there for me, to be honest, like colour wise. I got this bright orange swimsuit, which again I use as a bodysuit. Um, I just love the colour, even though it's out there for me, it's got like a nice scoop back. Um, but I just thought for summer, like that colour just screams summer to me. Um, so I just went for it. With Primark prices, even if you're questioning it, you just go for it, don't you? Um, then I got, now this I didn't need, but I literally got it because of how soft it is. It's just a bikini cover up. Um, it's so soft. I was like, I can't leave that there. How much was it? I thought, you know, bikini cover-ups always come in. It's not even 
got a label on it. Don't know how much it, oh, five pound. And I just thought, you know, bikini cover-ups kind of always just come in for holidays. So obviously I'm not going this year, but it'll do for next year. Just for like, you know, chilling. Then I got these navy blue shorts. They're like um, a waffle material. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, but I think these are so cute. I actually saw these on Sid and Elle's channel. I think Sid got them on her Primark haul and I just thought they are so cute. I actually went into Primark with like a list of from what I wanted from watching other people's hauls and like this was like my number one. I was like I need them shorts. I think they only had like two or three left and they were like kind of hidden behind some other shorts and I just saw them and I was like they're my shorts. And then I just got a pair of kind of basic black shorts just because you know perfect for the garden. They were just cheap. How much were they? five pound i just thought they'll just always come in kind of thing then i just got some kind of basic black leggings these ones were five pound considering um compared to the normal three pound ones but they are like a little bit thicker and they're almost like a little bit fleecy inside um, so I thought I'd give them a go. I mean, obviously I won't be wearing them in the summer months, but I just thought they seem to be a bit like thicker in, like they're not see-through at all from what I can tell. So I thought I'd give those a go. And then this was just a bit random really. Um, I just thought this would be quite cute for work and stuff with like a black um, pearl neck jumper or just a black long sleeve top. Um, it's just like almost like a jacket type thing with like a tie belt if you can see that well um, but I just thought it's quite cute, quite smart so you know just for them days when you're looking for the sophisticated look um, then I cannot go into Primark without getting something from the pyjama section whether that's a pair of pyjamas or it's like a dressing gown, a fluffy jumper um, and this time it's just night shirts apparently so I bought this pink and white striped one really cute i always get them in like a bigger size just so they're really oversized i love sleeping in them just chilling in them um i think they're really good for getting ready you know if you have a shower you've got wet hair you're gonna do makeup just shove one of these on get ready and then get dressed and um, the other thing for me as well when it comes to like pajamas and things like this is i don't know if i'm just weird but i like them to match my bedroom so my room's white gray and pink so my pajamas have to be white gray and pink as well um, and then this one which is all crumpled and a bit of a mess because I've been wearing this one from the Disney section it was the Dumbo nightshirt again pink so it matches um, yeah just really cute I just love sleeping in them they're just so comfy and what else do you need okay so let's move on to kind of accessories and other random bits um, so first of all I picked up this clutch bag, I'm obsessed with this colour, it's just so cute. Um, basically I'm not very adventurous with my colours, what I wear, I tend to wear a lot of black, um, all my clutches are black as well, so if like, say I'm just going out like, for example in lockdown and going to the park walking the dog, you need to take a bag to put poo bags in, it's glamorous I know. And so if I'm wearing all black I can just wear this and it just adds that bit of colour and you know, looks completely different than just wearing a black one. Um, I also picked up some nails. Now I'm going to show you these without showing you my nails because I pulled my jar nails off yesterday and made a bit of a mess. So I got these pointed glass ones. I hope you can see those. Um, that's kind of like my kind of go-to nail, just kind of a naturally nude, cute, and the pointed are my favourite shape from Primark. Then I got some pointed matte white ones. Um, I love them as well. I don't actually have a gel white nail polish, so I'm gonna actually get one of them as well. Um, but sometimes I just think it's nice to have a bit of length. And then finally got the French matte ombre ones. So these were like £1.50, a little bit more expensive, but those are so cute. I might put those on later today actually because my current nails are absolutely hideous. Um, then I picked up um, a new hair turban. This one is pink. And it's like so soft they had white ones as well but they were like a proper towel material and this one was just so soft i was like i use a hair turban all the time I'm not walking past this so that was one pound fifty 
Then I picked up this um, sleep mask slash this one's actually like a gel eye mask. Um, it's got like the gel bit that you can take out, put in the fridge, put back in, or you can use it without it. I do have like a sleep mask at the moment, but this like strap is kind of not broken, but it's just loosened massively. And I wake up in the night, it's around my neck, and I was like, I'm not dealing with that. So yeah, excited to use that tonight. I also picked up just some cute scrunchies. Um, I didn't need any scrunchies, I've got plenty, but my sister bought these and I was like, oh, they're really cute. And I knew if I just see her with them, I'm gonna get jealous. So I just thought for £1.50, I'll just pop them in my basket. Then I got just some really basic two kind of headbands. These were £1 for both of them. Um, I'm just gonna use this basically for getting my hair back when I'm doing my makeup, doing my skincare, taking my makeup off whatever whatever um so yeah just pick those up then i mean obviously you can't go into primark and not pick up some knickers so i got some knickers those in like light pink burgundy and white and then i saw these i had never noticed before that you could buy kind of the thongs in like an actual pack i've always seen the three pack and that's what i've always got but this one has two black and white a dark gray and a light gray for four pound fifty and I don't know where I've been, maybe I've been under a rock, but I just had no idea that you could get them in like an actual plastic packet. So yeah. Then I got a pair of shoes. I literally just wanted a pair of kind of like sandaly slash like flip flop shoes. So these were kind of perfect. They're like suede, like a suede bow, if that makes sense. Um, I got some kind of similar ones from Pretty Little Thing at the start, well, the start of summer, the start of lockdown. Um, and I love them, but they are quite like heavy and clunky, whereas I just thought, I just want some that are like really easy to slip on, to go and like walk the dog or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think they were six pound. I just love Primark prices, like it just gets better and better. Next up, I got some exfoliating gloves I just needed to replace my old ones. Um, but these are the Charcoal Cleanse and Purify ones. They were £1.50. And I've never actually had like the kind of charcoal -y grey ones. I always just get kind of the normal white one. Um, but they do look grubby like really quickly. So I'm hoping that these, I'll get a bit more out of them because as soon as they go grubby, I just think, oh, they're horrible. And chuck them. Then I got this three pack makeup cleansing cloths, pink, white and grey. Now I bought a packet of these in November or December last year and they're so soft and lovely and I literally just took them out of the box and put them on my windowsill and because it matched my bathroom I was like, oh, they, they look really nice there, I don't want to use them. So I've literally not used them since then. Um, because as well, they're so nice. For me, when I like use them to like take my makeup off or whatever, and then they stain and I wash them and I soak them and I can never get them back without any makeup stains on. So I'm gonna use this as like my kind of double cleanse cloth. Um, so hopefully they stay nice, but then at least I've always got my other nice ones on the windowsill. So that was two pound fifty for three. Then I also just got um, some muslin cloths because I've only got one and that's really kind of some better days. So you got three for three pound in those. Um, I've never actually seen them before in Primark. I don't know if they're new or what, but I'd never personally seen them. Next up, I really wanted a triangle sponge. Basically in my last video, I think it was, I mentioned I bought the Iconic London Illuminator. Um, and I've been watching some tutorials on like how people apply it and things like that. And loads of people have used like the kind of like triangle brush, uh, sponge. So I was like, I want me one of those. Um, basically this pack was 25 pack of sponges for £1.50. So I just thought might as well. I will use the triangle ones. The bottom kind of rectangular ones, I don't think I'll use just because they purely remind me of the first ever makeup item I got. I don't even know what it was. I think it's from number 17, which I don't even think they do anymore. It's from like the Boots number seven range. They had like the number 17. And it was like almost like a, cakey kind of hard foundation that you'd kind of like smear the sponge and then smear it on your face and it was the wrong colour for me and honestly I just must have looked horrendous but I thought it looked amazing so that sponge just reminds me of that and think I can't even not today then I got two silicone cleansing pads now I wasn't going in for these but I saw them 
and I've been wanting to try something like this for ages so you get two in this pack for two pound um, obviously during lockdown I've had loads of like DMs on Instagram like message requests asking me to try different products asking me to join different business things all that rubbish I'm not into it um, but one of them was about like an electronic kind of one of these um, which I don't know, I don't really know how that really works. So I thought I'll give it a go with one of these and see what I think. Um, but yeah, I'm quite excited to use that. I'll use that tonight to take my makeup off. So I will let you know over on my Instagram how I find that. Then I got some crocodile clips. So it's six for one pound. I basically got these because, like I say, I've become obsessed with Ellie Darby and she uses these clips to do her kind of famous Ellie Darby bun. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing that. Then I picked up this um, headband for £1.50. I've got a couple of these. I've got like a burgundy one and I've got a pink one. Um, I just think they're really cute. Um, I've not been wearing them recently because obviously lockdown, I've not been doing anything as you can probably tell. Um, but basically, as soon as lockdown's over, my hair game is going right up there. So watch out. And I also picked up, now this isn't really me at all. Um, it's like another like kind of headband thing where you can put it in a bag and stuff but just how gorgeous is that colour I just thought I can't even walk past that and it's kind of got this gorgeous like detailing I just thought I need that um, I don't know how I'll use it or what I'll use it with or when or where but it's going to be used mark my words so that one was £2.50 I don't know if I just said that then I got some gold hooped earrings and um, those were £1 Obviously they're kind of not the best quality, but sometimes you just need some kind of naff hoops that you can just wear, if that makes sense. Um, and you know, they get lost so easily, these, so a pack will always come in. I wish I'd got a pair of silver as well, but I'm just really feeling the gold vibes at the moment. I don't know about you. Um, on the kind of gold hoop vibes, you also got these for £1.50. These chunky hoops, which I think are so cute. Um... So yeah, I'm really excited to wear those ones. Then I got these hair clips. Now these are not me at all. I've never worn anything like these in my life. However, I just thought they were really pretty and I thought I'm going to make it work. Um, so again, I don't know where, how or when I wear these, but yeah. And these were kind of, not expensive, but they were £3 for four clips, which in Primark world, that's kind of, you know, maybe a bit up there. Um... But they are just so pretty and, you know, I'm going to find a way to wear them. Then I got this PS Plumping Gel Sheet Mask. Um, I've never used this one before, I don't think. Um, I think it's kind of, what is it for? Just a plumping one, I think. I don't think it's like necessarily like moisturising or whatever. But I've never used this one before and, you know, I've used a lot of masks. So I will let you know how this goes. I might use this one tonight because I've not done a mask in ages and you know, with this lockdown I just feel I need to pamper myself every two to three days. So yeah, I'll let you know what I think about that. And then finally, this is the last thing, but this was actually one of the things I was most excited about, is these cat eye sunglasses. Um, I just think they're so cute and they give me full Kourtney Kardashian vibes. So you know, what's not to love? I feel like everyone's wearing these at the moment but you know I'm just gonna join in don't care um and they were two pound so yeah that was everything I bought at Primark um I did have a fabulous time I won't lie I was like living my best life walking around throwing everything in my bag I didn't even care um but yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be back soon bye